All right, y'all. Day 28. Everything holds air. We're good. So, since all the air suspension is good now, control arms are good now, let's, uh, I'm going to paint that, cut that little hole for the uh, wiring harness, and then we can move on. I went ahead and focus. Went ahead and put the motor mount adapters here. So what I'm gonna use here, I got the ICT billet plates. And I'm gonna use the stock motor mounts from the big block. So these, you just line up the holes, and put them in. Now, because my 454, or the 480 on the 454 had a, it didn't have a slip yoke, it just had the U-joint directly on the tail shaft. But my 6090, this one uses a slip yoke. And I measured them both before uh, I sold it. They're exactly the same length. They're like 32 inches. So I'm gonna have to slide the engine forward. Hopefully I have enough adjustment here so I could give it some space, focus, to not have to shorten the drive shaft. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna, the further back you put the, the motor mount, you know, the further forward your engine is, and transmission is moved. So I'm gonna mount this here, like so. Now these have a little hump right here in the middle you can't really see it. Well, kind of. That little hump. You can either grind that down or cut it out. I'm going to cut it out. Now I got dirt all over my pretty engine. But for the AC mount, which is this one, since I plan to use the stock AC compressor, it goes right here. So I'm going to have to cut the adapter plate right here. I still need to clean some of this stuff up, so I'll probably just uh, soak in some degreaser and pressure wash it and then paint it up. So let's do that. Uh, I still need to tighten the rocker arms. They're on there just uh, pretty much hand tight. I still haven't torqued them. Uh, what else? I got a little plug for this since I'm not using the oil level sensor. I got it here somewhere. And uh, yeah, it's pretty much just cleaning up a bunch of engine parts, putting it all together. Hopefully I can drag the 6L90 out of there and pressure wash it. I also have a new transmission mount. I got a bunch of engine parts over here, but use the adapter for the 6L90 uh, transmission cooler lines. I got these conversion U-joints. Uh, these are 1350 to a 1410. Why doesn't this thing focus? There you go. I got two of them because the yoke for the 6L90 is a 1410 and the rear end from the 2006 is also 1410, but everything on my drive shaft that came from the 480 is 1350. So I'm putting a conversion drive shaft or conversion U joint here, and then the one that goes on the slip yoke for the transmission. So we got our work cut out for us. I'm gonna take some of this wiring off from the uh, air suspension stuff. And then we can get to work on this. Start cleaning some of this up. Start putting it together. Let's get it. All right, guys. That's that hump that we need to trim off the uh, motor mount. 
so that it'll clear the adapter plates. So, I'm gonna mark this out with a Sharpie and then just torch it off with the uh, plasma cutter. And once I get that cut and cleaned up, we'll uh, paint them both and then slap them on the engine. Alright fellas, got this cleaned up and mounted, got the stock 2008 uh, 2500 HD AC compressor mounted up in the stock bracket. Now this is with the motor mounts all the way back. Um, so the only thing I have to do was trim this for the bracket, just trim the original motor mount. And like I said, this is moved on the last, on the last set of holes, pushing the engine forward. Um, got everything mounted up. Everything's good. I might have to just pull this off when I drop the motor in the truck, so I can get the uh, bolt in for the engine mount. But if I, I think if I push it from the back forward, I can get the nut on here and zip it down. Uh, the driver's side is out is also already on here's the driver's side same thing I just put it on the last set of bolts and this one we didn't have to do anything with um, I still need to clean up the accessory brackets um, I got one of the headers over there drying I just used some high temp some high heat uh, Rustoleum rattle can. These are the Schoenfeld 1302 LS1 or something like that. And they come painted black, but it's just a temporary coating. So don't throw them on and expect them to not like rust or burn that shit off. You have to take it off. So that one's still stripping. That one's good. I already got it painted. I got two coats on it, so it should be good. Um, I'll, uh, next up, let's uh, torque these down. These are all, I think, 22 foot-pounds. And then we'll clean up the valve covers, throw those on, and we should be getting close. Uh, once I get the power steering and all that, that bracket cleaned up, I'll throw it back on. I'm also gonna paint it black. So I'm gonna, I already pressure washed it. Looks a lot better, or Matthew pressure washed it when he came down. So I'm gonna pull the alternator off, pull the power steering pump off, clean it up. Um, and then I'll, uh, Spray paint it, same thing with the water pump. I'm just gonna spray paint it. I'm not gonna take anything off. And then throw it on. It's not new shit, but I want it to look like nice shit, so. Yeah, let's get it. take the water pump apart and hello motherfucker thermostat housing came apart I think I got one somewhere laying around so I'm gonna find it 
scrap this one. I'm gonna get a new thermostat. This one actually didn't have a thermostat. All right. This thing is pretty much buttoned up. The only thing I'm missing, the intake is on there just to be there. Let's then you do the steam ports and I don't have the fittings for them. I can't find them. So I'll just get like an Amazon special for these. Um, but yeah, everything else is put on. This is the hydro boost line that goes to the firewall. But I might have to kind of unbend that a little bit to reach the booster itself. I'm not sure where it's going to land, where the motor's going to be at, but you should be able to reuse this line. If not, we'll figure something else out. But AC's in place, motor mounts are in place. All the uh, rockers are torqued down, put new gaskets on the valve covers. The only thing that I need gaskets for is the intake. And I thought, eh, I just won't replace them. But my luck is not very good. So that'll probably be the only gasket that leaks. But water pump is on, new gaskets are on it. Everything's on, everything's good. Uh, I sprayed both headers. Uh, I got a mess in here. Right there. Like I said, these are the 1302-LS1, the painted ones i wanted to get the ceramic coated ones but they're like 800 bucks shipped we're broke so these are i think like 320 or 350 somewhere around there and they didn't turn out too bad these are the ones with the inch and three quarter primaries uh but yeah and it comes with the bolts the gaskets everything i still need to clean up the ignition coils which is these I'll clean these up and then uh, once we get the engine and the truck, make sure we got clearance for everything, I'll slap them on. But yeah, we got a lot done. That's basically done. Uh, I need to still pull that thing out, clean it up. Um, I'm thinking of just dropping the engine in and then once I get the truck on the lift, then I can jack it up. But it's always 10 times easier to just put it together out here and then just slide it in, put your cross members on, put your bolts in and you're good. But we'll figure that out maybe tomorrow. It's still early. Uh, my woman is already done with dinner, I believe. And I'm starving. So we're getting there guys. This is a short video. It was a bunch of like little bullshit, mostly just waiting for paint to dry. But I like all this stuff black instead of that, uh, I guess bare aluminum color because it was all dirty and dingy anyway. It looked like this. And I would buy a new air or AC compressor, but I'm broke and guy over at O'Reilly's doesn't want to sponsor me. So we got to, make do with what we got. I will, however, I think this tensioner feels shitty. So I'm gonna get a new tensioner and I'll probably just go ahead and get a new belt. Luckily, I can still see the numbers on this. So, yeah, we're getting there, guys. That's all we got for today. Thanks for hanging out, peace.